This is a story about Southwest Kansas, a community made up of kids, coaches, businesses, and residents. I'm Scott Linden, and today is the National Shooting Sports Foundation presents Wing Shooting USA. We explore the fruits of their labor, a place to recreate. They also built a legacy of outdoor activities at their high school, and it all started in a town where cattle, cowboys, outlaws, and railroads converged to pioneer what they call Wild West Country. Southwestern Kansas comes to Dodge City for culture, community, and high school sports, including their outdoor club. Dave Miller and Dan Peel of CZ USA and I are there to help with that group. You guys are really lucky. Dave Foster runs the program when he's not coaching their football team. And let me tell you, if we had more folks as dedicated as he is in the public schools, the world would be a better place. My opening act was about how hunting is savoring the entire experience. But no matter how compelling my speech, I was constantly upstaged by Dan's pup. It's okay, I'm used to it. Of course, I couldn't resist a chance to help the 10% of kids in the room who are like me, cross-dominant. That's your dominant eye. And my left eye takes over. So I do this, and then this, this. When my hands come. World record holder Dave Miller got into the nuts and bolts of shotgunning with the same canine competition I had. With extensive training, in about a year, we'll run some, some And Dan dogs chimed in on dog there, training uh, tips. For maturity level. Face it, those kids know who the real stars are. Hint, they have four legs. Yep, that's a fishing lake at school. I told you Kansas schools support outdoor sports. Then it's off to the gun club for practical application of our theories. The cold was intimidating, but every student was hot for the chance to learn from a legend in the shotgunning world. With a legacy stretching back to mythical gunslingers like Wyatt Earp and Bat Masterson, shooting well is in their DNA. We covered everything from safety to lead, stance and gun mount, to finally burning some powder. chance to handle one of the guns Dave used to set his world record. So the idea behind it is learn how to work smarter, not harder. Keep shooting. Be safe. You know, always know what you're working Thanks, Coach Foster. Hope to see you and your students in the field. We'll be headed there ourselves next on Wing Shooting USA. Wing Shooting USA is brought to you by Yeti, built for the wild. Pointer shotguns, always in stock. Over-unders, under 600 bucks. Quail forever. Get a free browning knife when you join today. And ksoutdoors.com. Over 1 million acres of great walk-in hunting. Some of the wildlife taken off the ranch here at Ruggs. Some of the great movie posters of the Old West. Well, it's alive and well in Western Kansas, where instead of posses and uh, building a town or raising a barn, they're now building reservoirs that we can all recreate at. That's the story of Horse Thief, and I hope you're enjoying it so far. You can enjoy the interior of the Ruggs Ranch if you win the Take Your Friend Hunting Sweepstakes. Go to wingshootingusa.org to enter. While you're there, ask me a question. I'll answer one on the difference between wild birds and preserved birds for training, coming up later in the show. Enjoy the rest of the program. 
The Upland Checklist is brought to you by Cabela's, your source for hunting dog gear. It may sound silly until you're caught in the boonies, but pack the instructions for electronic collars and other gear. And don't forget reading glasses if you're, um, well, experienced at life. Get the entire checklist at scottlintonoutdoors.com and find your gear at Cabela's. Outlaws hung here, literally, when they were caught stealing horses, hence the name Horse Thief Reservoir. Back then, community members banded together to form a posse and dispense frontier justice. More recently, they funded, dug, filled, and developed this verdant oasis into a hunting and fishing destination. While its origins were in shootouts and rustlers, the only crime now is making excuses about my bad shooting. Our modern day posse consists of Dave and Dan, guides Josh and Elijah Hobbs, and a herd of dogs rivaling the size of some of those historic cattle drives that built Dodge City. Bird scent will be dispersed by the wind, so it's all about flushing breeds for a while, starting with Josh's Chesapeake Bay Retriever. Yep, those are white caps on the water, but fighting the gale force winds was a little easier because we got to shoot one of Dave's new toys. So um, we're honored, Dave, to, to have a, a brand new gun from CZ. Uh, what are you calling it, and, and why a new gun? Well, this is the Supreme Field. It's offered in 12 gauge, 20, and this is the 28. It's on a 20 gauge frame, the 28 gauge is, so that we can have the auto ejectors oh. and not have the baby frame, which just has extractor. Okay. Just a step above your wing shooter. Which is all I'm worthy of anyway. <laughs> So this wind has got to kind of change your shooting strategy just a little. What would you do differently in a wind this strong? Well, depending on which way you're going, if you're walking into the wind as you normally would be hunting upland birds, you've got to be aware that you're probably going to have to turn and spin and shoot behind you because that bird gets up, catches the wind. They generally want to light into the wind and get as much air in their wings as fast as possible so they can get out of there. So a lot of times they'll fly up and peel back over the top of you. Yeah. More wind, more oh, dogs. Listen. You got a yeah. problem with that? Here. May as well match the humans. Yeah. Josh, Josh wants to go down to the bottom there. Here. We got a pack now, boys. <laughs> I know, I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> Shot guy. Fetch it, baby! Good job! Fetch it! Different dog got it. <laughs> um, so we can spread out a little bit more. That bird really just flushed right in front of us. The dog's all passed it up. Yeah, it one of my no, no. no. Come on, Libby. Run it up. The communities of Southwest Kansas Wild West Country have created a bird hunter's paradise with promotions and prizes, lodging options to fit any budget, a variety of habitats and bird species. And then there's the history. It's no wonder this was one of our destinations on the awesome Upland Road Trip. Yeehaw! The wind debates and birds cooperate next on Wing Shooting USA. Good job, Libby. Come here. Buffalo first roamed these rolling hills, then droves of cattle up from Texas and headed for the railhead at Dodge, then crops, and now pheasant hunters. Hair switch! Here, good girl. 
Good job. Come on. Don't let me switch. Switch. Here. Get in here. Come on. Gosh darn. What do you got, girl? What do you got? Find your birds. Or not. Probably not. Oh, oh sir. Good shot. Oh, you got that one. <laughs> Is the lab after it or yours? Yeah, well, we're right at the end of the. Nope. Never mind. Crop. You think that might be. Here, Libby. <laughs> Look at those guys. Come here, girl. Let's go hunting. All right. Might be a little bit of a challenge. I'll get a oh, nice! Good shot. Fetch it, Did bird. Did. Good girl, Libby. Here, Libby. Here. Right, somebody will bring it back. Here, good girl. Here, here. Good girl. Hold it. Thank you. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Let's hunt it up, guys. Get to it. Switch. Find some birds. Switch. Hunt it up. Let's go. Get in there. Oh, great oh shot, Josh. Right Phenomenal there. shot. Didn't even see that bird get up. Me neither. Couldn't hear it either. Lab's got it. Here. Here. Bring it here, girl. Good job, Switch. Bring it here. Good girl. Bring it here. Blind as a bat. Here. Hey, hold it. Release. Thank you. Nice. Good job, Josh. Good job. Hunt it up, Switch. Come on, Libby. Go. All right. Good job, girls. Well, we got you a bird. Good job, everybody. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Yeah. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Kevin. My pleasure. Guys. Good hunt. Yeah. It was fun. Excellent, yeah. I haven't had a good fun hunt for a while, so <laughs> other than just by myself or with my brother. So yeah. well those are all good too. Get past the first two weekends. If you get into late December and January, it's pretty much the rest of the We'll leave the rest for the next group and head for Cecil's place next on Wing Shooting USA. Wing Shooting USA is brought to you by my new Upland Nation podcast, What You Wanna Know When You Want It. The National Shooting Sports Foundation. Win a free hunting trip at wingshootingusa.org. Pheasantennial. Celebrate 100 years of pheasant hunting in the ringneck nation of Huron, South Dakota. CZ Shotguns. Shoot safe, shoot often, shoot CZ. Hope you're enjoying the show so far. Spontaneity is my middle name these days. I'm working hard at planning to do things spontaneously, including uh, when Dave offered to do that workshop for the kids at Dodge City High. I hope you have learned something and maybe you will be taking a kid hunting soon. Uh, here at Ruggs Ranch, of course, you can take a kid or anybody else hunting. If you'd like to win our wingshootingusa.org take your friend hunting sweepstakes, that's where you're going to enter. And while you're there, of course, you can ask me a question about bird dogs and bird hunting. I'll do my best to answer the question here or on our Facebook page where you get lots of other great feedback from fans of the show. This question from Todd Ruby has to do with 
The difference between and the harm that might come from training your dog on preserved birds versus wild birds. Well, if you have the luxury of wild birds, it's a no-brainer. But if you don't, you got to manage those birds and you got to manage your dog to prevent the one most important thing from not happening. And that's don't let your dog learn that he can catch any of those birds. Use check cords, use discipline, use bird launchers. Good luck. Enjoy the rest of the program. Getting out of the truck at Cecil's Trails End Lodge, I could tell we made the right choice for our next Wild West Country destination. The harder choice, which CZ shotgun to use. The wind has dropped, hopes have risen, cover is lighter, and we got a Brittany and a short hair pup on the ground. It's, if you don't mind. <laughs> oh. Hi, back. Hey, we got a point right there. Beauty. Look at that short hair. Beautiful. <laughs> Was there. Good warm up, everybody. Excellent practice. I bet it would take a toll on some snow geese if they're jumping from field to field. Oh yeah. Because they're not paying attention. They're just flying with the next one. Yeah, let's do a back. Get ready. Puppy, puppy coming in. I'll come around to the right. She's pretty sure. Look at her looking into the grass. Oh, hey, man. Well, she says let's move. She doesn't quite know what to do with that funny smell of bird, does she? Look at her, look back at me, look at you. There's a feather pile over here. What you got, man? Handler. Well, she's relocating. Give her a break. Right through here. There you go. Dan. Nice, nice shot. shot. Right in the sun. Hey. Yeah. That pup had to suss out ground scent on that running bird. No points, but great use of nose. Okay, note, note to Ryder. This is that dog's first pheasant. Period. First ever pheasant. That was pretty cool. <laughs> First rooster, you know well, what? Well, we should have a little ceremony or and something. She worked so hard to find that. That was awesome, man. Yeah. You smoked it, though. I think it was dead in the air. Good back. Nice. That bird's gonna wanna go that way, Scott, so be ready. Oh, you're very kind, but I think it's over here by Dave. Wait, that one's moving. Yeah. Well, or it's nowhere. Walking these plains, you can almost see a teepee out there in the hazy distance <laughs> and hear the buffalo hoofbeats. Oh, I'm gonna be ready. Point, we gotta find. Maybe. Good dog. Or not. I think it's a, a lowland scotch that they just Cattlemen were here first, so but others. settlers so made their mark too. We have them to thank for the structure that harbors native Kansas Easy. ringnecks well, and up. features so prominently in Terry Redland paintings. Like it on the right. Watch sailor, watch sailor. Well, that's sick. If I was a bird, that's what I'd be. Don't know. Don't know. The dual retrieve. Yep. 
Okay. Here we go. Hip. Keep an eye on them dogs. I can't see them. Okie doke. Let's go, Clay. This way, guys. Careful, guys. That's a motivated spaniel. Well, I take it all back now. Here, that bird's down by the. I gotta get around there. By the big trunk. Yep. Dead. <laughs> Hunt dead. Oh, he got it. What's this? Good dog. Here we go, girl. Here, girl. Yeah. Here, girl. Look for ghosts in those windows. Good boy. All right. Cool. Good stuff. Dave, I gotta tell you, the more I watch those two big guys, the more I like them. They are so athletic. They are, they're, they're big, powerful dogs. Maybe it's appropriate we end our hunt in an old homestead with wind turbines in the background. <laughs> I love it. Those who settled here left a legacy of memories and changed the landscape, paving the way literally for the communities of Southwest Kansas, known as Wild West Country, who are making their own marks. From shootouts to railroads, rustlers and hangings to a very civilized boot hill, casino and hotel. We leave a mark for those who follow. Hopefully, it's a good one, Parker. I'm Scott Linton. Thanks for watching.